Oh, someone just messaged us. Yeah, I'm assuming it was no. not my personal. I think it was. I don't see it on the Lula row. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, so, first off, we'll start and talking about um, what LuLaRoe is. So, for those of you who don't know, um, it is a retail. So, they went through this phase where they were considering themselves direct sales, but you're really not in direct sales in a way because you own all the inventory, whereas a lot of times with direct sales, you don't own the inventory. So, that's a big difference. So, now they've moved to what's called retailers. Um, they, they don't even call themselves fashion consultants anymore. So it, it is retailers now. And it is a business that generated from Deanne's doings. Um, she was creating maxi skirts for her daughter. And they went so well that she started having parties, pop-ups, and selling them. And then people wanted more and more. And it just, it's, it's followed from that that makes sense and um, it is rare their patterns are rare they only make 5,000 prints in every patterns currently um, and there's about 70 oh I might be wrong on this but 70,000 consultants currently nationwide um, and and just so you understand from a um, retailers perspective they do about 75 percent patterns and and 25 percent solids in, in everything, just so you kind of understand. They were doing, they've moved it up to 75. So they were doing 65 and 35, and I think they've moved it back to 75 to have more patterns out there. Um, so that's a big thing that people don't realize is the patterns are rare. So when you place an order as a consultant, a retailer, I'm gonna get used to saying that, you are placing an order um, of the styles that you want and the sizes not you have no clue what patterns you're going to get so just so you are aware of that up front um the business started in 2012 i hope i'm right on that um i had it wrong and now i'm getting nervous every time i say it um and it is out of california however they are starting to get a warehouse on the east coast and that's something they're working on right now so um, that's exciting for all of us who live on the East Coast. Um, we should be able to get our shipments faster. Um, anything else uh, concerning Lula Row page that we want to share real quick? Um, uh, sorry, I was we have a cell going on right now, so I was responding to someone. But um, I, did you touch on that? Um, we're retailers, but the different thing about it is. Normally, as a retailer, you get to choose what product comes to you. Um, in our case, we get to choose the style, but not the patterns that they send us. Yeah. That's another big thing. I don't know if you said that. Sorry if you did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, any questions about LuLaRoe real quick and the company? And we'll be diving more into it, but that's just, I, I wanted to make sure y'all understand about the patterns and how rare they are and um, where the comp how the company started. You said all shipments are going to be coming from the West Coast, California, and they're due a warehouse on the East Coast when? They are working on that currently. He has not found a location. As of last week, I think it was last week during our meetings, um, he had not found a location, like pinpointed the location that he wanted, but he's looking on the East Coast. So okay. I do know it's coming soon. Um, but yes, as of right now, and we'll go into shipping and the cost of all that. So real quick, who we are um, at and how we got into selling LuLaRoe, I am Stevie Johnson, um, and with my first son, who is now almost 19 months old, um, I decided to resign. I was a fifth grade teacher and decided to resign and stay home, and I, we were going through our savings, and we were praying about January um, of 2016, we were praying about another option for me to start doing something from home, or I was even thinking tutoring something. And I went to my first in-home pop-up and saw the clothes, and I went to it in February and was like, I love these clothes. Like, this would be easy for me to sell. Um, and went home, told Noah about it. We prayed on it, and I actually went to Paige, my best friend. <laughs> my best friend and said because the funny thing is is our husbands have always talked about selling or doing some business together we have never talked about it and I pitched it to her and she's like yeah 
and she was in the same boat, staying home, needing an in another income. Um, so we signed up in March. And at the time when we signed up, we actually got on board right when this whole like LuLaRoe uh, crazy frenzy went about. Like people started knowing about LuLaRoe and, and jumping on board with the clothes and wanting to sell it. So it took us 11 weeks in the queue. It's not that long any longer. Um, and a lot of things have happened for, for us, um, have changed for us for the better for this company. Like when we started, there was not a lot of um, graphics that they gave you. The, there was no, you got to pick your package that you wanted. So now there is a package that they put together and that's to expedite the packages out to the queue, um, the people who are in the queue, the new consultants and things like that. So they've done a lot. This company is new and Fresh and they are still growing and so they're changing constantly and you probably have seen I know we posted it Nadine's probably told y'all um, about the new uh, point of sale systems that they're coming out with so that's even like a new thing um, that they're tr they're constantly trying to make it better um, selling for the retailers and for the customers um, and so that is one thing to be aware with joining this company is it is new and so there is going to be some kinks with it but honestly what I love about it is I love being able to say like I started out in the company in the beginning like when it was you know just up and starting um, and, and so that's been and getting to be a part of these changes um, I think it's been neat too so we, we, we signed up in March and we got our inventory in June and honestly have been selling ever since. Um, we've been fortunate enough um, to cruise qualify every month and we'll talk about what that means, but that is a minimum of selling 12,000 monthly. Um, and we'll, we'll explain all of this to you throughout the video or throughout the meeting. But, um, and I, I, I honestly, I can't say it enough is how blessed I am for Lula. Like this has been the best opportunity for us. And I, I loved teaching just for y'all to understand. Like I, that was my passion. I loved it. I planned on going back to it. And now me and my husband are talking about it. And he's like, so do you plan on going back to teach? And I'm like, well, if Lula Rose doing as well as it, as it is, like what would be the point? You know, like I'm enjoying this. I get I get an outlet as a mom. Um, I'm not just sitting at home twiddling my thumbs. I get to be around other women. It gives me some motive, some drive. I, I definitely noticed here recently, since Paige has been doing it all, since my, my second son's been born, I feel like there's days I'm like, I just changed diapers, you know? And so this has kind of given me like a, another purpose in life um, other than just changing diapers. Um, but then it's also, and this is something that, you know, where I haven't shared on social media yet, but the biggest reason for doing this was to be able to get my husband to be able to go back to school so that he could become a teacher and he actually just quit his job. So he will be doing this. So this is like a huge why and us being able to set me selling and being able to help our family financially. And it's finally like all coming full circle for us and it's happened so fast. Um, and so... This is a lot, isn't it? <laughs> He's like, if this isn't live, is it? no, it's just a couple people. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the, it's honestly has been a huge blessing for our family, and I, I never I never imagined it going this well, um, to be quite honest. And it, it really has. We've been able to sustain an income monthly that has been what I made teaching or more. Um, so that, that's been um, great for us. So... Did you want to add anything about who we are? I think you covered it. Okay. Um, and then, so I'm trying to go down. I've got like a list of like what I'm wanting to cover. And so how to start selling. So the very first thing to know with LuLaRoe is that you, you have to pick a sponsor um, and sign up under that person. Now, we did a video on picking a, a how to pick the right sponsor. Um, oh, good. He's good. Um. And we strongly encourage watching that, and we'll cover some things here right now, but it is, it is crucial that you pick a sponsor that you connect with, that they are on the same um, selling field as you, like, you know, as far as how the avenue they plan on selling in, that they have resources available for you. Um, and that is stuff that our team all, we all have all that right now. Um, and we'll, we'll be going into that in more details, but you cannot change your sponsor. Once you signed up, with LuLaRoe, you sign up under a sponsor and it is a binding contract and you cannot change it. We've had several women reach out to Paige and I 
wanting to change who their sponsor was um, and they won't let them um, because it is a contract. And a lot of that is, they're, that's just added drama for LuLaRoe home office to have to deal with. And so they're like, I don't want to, we don't have time to like work through this. Um, oh, thanks Paige. She gave the link to the video in the comments of how to pick a sponsor. So um, feel free to watch that. That's her channel. Oh, our that's channel. Her Thank you. Um, and so, and we have a ton of videos there. If you haven't checked them out on um, just everything. Um, but yeah, picking a sponsor and making sure it's somebody that, that they're going to, they're going to provide resources for you, that they're going to, um, they, they plan on selling. If you plan on doing all online, you, know, you want to make sure your sponsor does some online sales so they can kind of guide you in that. If you plan on doing in homes, um, make sure your sponsor does some in homes so that they can kind of guide you in that as well. Um, if you plan on doing this as a full-time career, you know, you might not want to have a sponsor who only does it occasionally. Um, things like that. So, yeah, things like that to consider in selling um, and picking your sponsor um, is uh, would be vital. Um, and again, we have a video that goes into that more in depth. But that's the first thing is you need to pick a sponsor, and then basically you fill out the paperwork. And there is nothing um, if you are like, okay, I'm I'm considering it. We we tell you to go ahead and fill out the paperwork because. Right now, it's like an eight week, and sometimes it's six. So it really depends on how fast they're moving. But an eight to six week um, wait, and we call that time you're in the queue. Um, and what that means is you basic you basically are waiting to get the call to onboard and become a consultant. And they have um, the, again, this is an awesome company to work for because they have a phenomenal. Um, plan or system set up every Monday they do what's called Q calls that you can be a part of and that's the home office will we'll go over um, the 72 hour game plan which is like how to the best way to start your business and how to start selling um, so that you have um, your you have the longevity in your business and it does well successfully um, they'll do they'll do like new point of sale systems I mean the Q call is every Monday and it's it's different every time um, but it's, it's basically to help you um, prepare for your business and to prepare to be a, a retailer. Um, and then you also, in that time, we as a team, we are on, um, a, so we have an upline. And our upline, if you haven't, if you've done any research, is Kendra Pratt. She is our, what's considered our grandma. So, um, if you if you would sign up under us, you would be your great grandma. If you sign up under, if y'all sign up under Nadine, it would be your great great grandma. But Kendra Pratt is, um, she is a coach right now. And so the way it works is you become a consultant. Well, I guess they're calling it retailer. I gotta I gotta get that retailer. You become a retailer, then you become a sponsor, and that is where you um, take on somebody under you. Then you become a trainer, and that's where you have at least ten people under you and you're selling a certain amount or you're buying a certain amount each month and things like that and we can go into those more details later but um and trainer is what Paige and i just recently hit um then after you have three trainers on under you you become a coach and then after you have i think it's two or three coaches under you i can't remember the number exactly you become a um Sorry, I was reading what she wrote, but you become a mentor. And as you move up in rankings within the business, there is um, there is like a bonus check that you get for each rank. And obviously it grows for each ranking in your bonus check. So that is one way to move up. People call it a Pyramid's Creek scheme, and it's, it's not because the bonus check comes from LuLaRoe. It does not come from Nadine or anybody that's under us. It comes like out of their pocket. It comes straight from Lula Rose's pocket. Um, so that to, to kind of debuff that, but debunk that. Um, let's see. So then you go from uh, oh, you put a toboggan on. <laughs> Are y'all Patriot? What is that? Is it Pat Duke? Patriot the Chicago Bears. It's the Browns. Cleveland Browns. <laughs> I can't see the color. I see orange now. Yeah, the Cleveland Browns. Okay. 
Me and Mike are from Cleveland. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, but, okay. So, but anyways, Kendra Pratt is our grandma, is our grandmother and she is a phenomenal, um, person to have on our team. She does meetings with us frequently. She, she will reach out to you all and like say, thank you for joining our team. It, I, we just have not heard of other teams being this great and encouraging. Um, and, and I'm not trying to like, I don't, I'm not trying to brag about our team, but really like we have a phenomenal team that we are a part of. And these are people, these are other women who are selling, who are either considered our sisters, our grandmother, or th you know, they're somehow related in our team, if that makes sense. It's kind of like a sorority in a way, like if that helps in the way to think about it, a sorority or fraternity. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's your upline and downline. And so our upline, they are, they are cruise qualifying, which means that they are at least doing 12,000 um, in sales. And that was something big for Paige and I, we, when we were considering, we wanted somebody who was taking this business serious and not that you have to sell 12,000 to be taken serious, but that just tells you that they are doing some, a sell every day that they are, um, they're not just just taking in the bonus checks and that's it. Does that make sense? They're, they're still consultants. They're still retailers. Um, so she does that. She has a ton of YouTube videos. Um, that's a great resource as well. And then they are doing trainings frequently on our team to help us stay up to speed on things. Um, the other person that's on our team, that's, she is a coach in the, and she actually, if you go to any of Lula Rose um, events or if you go to their homepage and you watch any of their videos, she's going to be in at least a Trader Joe's. She is one of the first people who started on the East Coast um, and with Lula Rose, and she is like our great great grandmother, and she's also on our team. And so she's another phenomenal resource that is constant because she's a coach. She knows like what's happening um, before everybody else does. And she's constantly sharing that with us and making sure that we understand like this new point of sales systems. They're constantly doing videos for us to make sure we understand this new transition and how we're going to be moving into it and how to better um, expedite it. So all that to say, you definitely want to pick a sponsor who has a great team upline and that would be something to consider. And, and we do. Um, yeah, I feel like our upline is phenomenal and they will not just tell you to sell and like leave you. Um, they will be there along the, alongside of you the whole time. Um, and even ladies who are considered our equal, they'll get on your pages and stuff when you're doing a sale and they'll help encourage you, which has been a great thing for us. So I'll never forget our first, um, online Facebook sale. We were, we put on the group page, Hey, we have an online sale tonight. Can y'all just get on and kind of support and like make comments? And they did on their free time. Like they got on there and they made comments and helped move things and make things, you know, more seen. So, um, it is a great team to be a part of. And what, how it works is like when you turn in your paperwork, we will add you to those Facebook groups. And there's like three of them that you'll be joined that you at, get joined to on our team. And all three of them are phenomenal resources. Um, so the first thing you pick a sponsor and uh, you're in the queue for five to eight weeks, then, and we have a whole packet of stuff that we would consider telling you to buy, um, like your racks and things like that. We have all that spelled out for you. Um, we've also, we did all the research and we typed it in as we were doing it, like a, this is where we suggest buying the racks. You can also find them here for this much or here for this much. You know, we, I mean, we have it done for you. So the legwork's done. You just can look on there and see, oh, let me check out the, any of these three places are on sale right now. Um, same thing with the shipping stuff. If you're planning on doing any type of shipping, the bags, the Dymo, which is like the label printer, we have all those resources typed up for you. But that is something that if you're serious about this and you're wanting to go in full fledged, we, we suggest buying it while you're in the queue so that when you get your phone call, you're able to rock and roll um, that moment. But um, home office will tell you to wait just in case something happens and they decide not to onboard anybody else. Um, I don't foresee that happening and they've made that very clear just recently that they're not planning on stopping onboarding. Um, so that's not something they're planning on stopping right now. Um, onboarding new consultants. When I say any lingo that y'all aren't familiar with, please call me out on it because I realize sometimes I say some of the lingo that we use. Um, 
but yeah, so we suggest buying it, but they say wait till you get the phone call. Um, but then when you get the phone call, you have about a week until your inventory arrives. And when you get the phone call, the way it works is there's a packages and we can email this stuff to you if after this meeting, if you're still interested um, in all this information. Um, but they have a packet that they have pre put together and there's three, there's three options for you to choose from. Um, and they go up in ranking and in price, but all three packages have been put together from home office. Um, thank you. Uh, all three packages have been put together from home office and they are the top sellers for right now for that season. And so they will be changing eventually, um, according to the seasons. Um, but they are the top sellers in that moment and they also are what they are fully stocked in in the warehouse. So you will get a full, like you'll get a full line for the most part of, of whatever they are carrying or whatever's in that package. And the difference, so let me explain, like that is the, one of the things they did new while we have, while we've been selling with the company. When we were in the queue, you got to pick what you wanted to carry. Um, and they changed that to, because that was causing the wait time to be so long. So that's a positive about this package is it is done for you. It's something that it allows you to be in the queue for a shorter period of time and they can mail them out fast. It's also, I will say when Paige and I were in the queue and we were getting to customize our package, it was a very stressful time for us. We were like, we don't know what sells well. We don't know what we should carry. Like we didn't know what we should get. So them having it together, it kind of takes that stress off of you. Um, so it is a package that's pre-put together and you basically just pick which one you want. Um, and you can add to those packages as well. So the moment you get off the phone with the, with the lady or male, whoever calls you to onboard you, you can get on build, which is there's two um, systems that LuLaRoe has. Build is where you place your orders. That is where you keep up with your team. Um, that is where, if you're trying to get in touch with anybody from home office, things like that. Bless is the new system that they're doing, and that is where all the sales take place and invoicing and things like that. Um, so you can get on build right when you got the phone with them, and you can then place an order. Um, I think leggings is one of the things that's not in the packages right now, um, and that is because obviously they're a top seller and Sometimes they might not have them in the warehouse. They have, we haven't had that issue in a long time, though. But that's why they don't have them on the packages. But right when you get on the phone, you can go in and add those to your order. Um, and then from then on, you're selling. So it, it, that's really how it starts in selling. Now, obviously, there's a lot more that goes into it than that. And that's where your sponsors and we, if you join our team, would be there to help you with fi figuring out your launches, figuring out your giveaways. Um, we will broadcast you on our team to kind of like let people know you're selling and to go to your Facebook page to sell or to buy from you and things like that. Um, so we will be there the whole time to kind of get provide resources for you. Um, so that's how to start selling. Paige, do you have anything to add to that? No, um, I typed up on the comments just like a quick little thing for people who may not didn't get to watch this, but they can they see the comments later uh, on? Maybe because the video is yeah, they should be able to see it. Well, yeah, so I just did like a quick step by step of what you said, um, so that they can just read it if they need to. Thank you, Paige. Yeah, um, so that's how to start selling, it's real easy. Um, we now Paige and I just to kind of what is selling like that's the next category that I'm getting into I want to tell y'all up front Paige and I our partnership and LuLaRoe in order to be a partnership now with LuLaRoe you have to have an LLC so if that is something that you're considering as a partnership then you need to get an LLC prior to filling out your paperwork we did not have to do that at the, at the time um, but now they are requiring that. So, and just so, under, so you understand the why behind that is the drama. There was a lot of partnerships that were breaking apart. And what, what that means is who, who does the consultants go to then? You know, like there's two people, there's drama. If they build a team, it's like, well, who does the bonus go to when they split apart? Um, so LuLaRoe uh, does not suggest partnerships because 
uh, things like that happening. Um, but if you if you feel comfortable with the person and you know them well enough that y'all aren't going to have that kind of drama, then you might be interested in a partnership. And we can dialogue more about partnerships and trying to figure out if it's worth your while to do a partnership. I will say you want to pick somebody that you um, that you can talk about anything with. Because, I mean, this is a business, and, and it's a lot of money that gets involved, a lot of time. Um, and so if you're planning on doing a partnership, you want to pick wisely and not just do it just because you are best friends. Granted, we are, Paige and I are best friends, but um, you'll get to know our personalities. We're completely opposite, which plays really well in our business. Um, and, and we're very comfortable with each other. So, <sighs> Yeah, just to kind of kind of explain that. But so if you're planning on doing a partnership, you have to have an LLC. But Paige and I decided we knew from the get go that we were planning on going full force into this. So we we did a, like we went like twelve thousand dollars in debt. Now we're not suggesting that for everybody. Um, if that's not what you're able to do, we got a credit card line and was able to do ten thousand on it, and so that kind of helped. But we, we carried, I think, 14 styles from the get-go. Um, I think that was right, right? 14 styles from the very first day of selling. And that's just because we were wanting to go full force. You do not have to go full force to, to make a good living from this. Um, people are doing just the normal packages and, and making well off of those as well. So, um, And we can help you figure out the styles. Like the Nicole is a style that we carry, but it doesn't sell a lot so that might be something that you might not want to consider selling or taking on right now um, and that's something that we can kind of help you understand as the styles and which ones to take on um, but from day one Paige and I decided to make this a full-time for us um, and we made it a goal to do a sale every day now you have to figure out what your goal is going to be and what you're comfortable with. Now Paige and I, we stay home with our sons. We do not have another full-time job um, that's distracting us. So other than me and moms, but um, so we don't have that to have to weigh in. So we literally have a couple hours every day that we can sit aside for just blue row. And, and that's why we're able to do a sell a day. And, and that's where our sales, I, th I feel like, have been so high is because of that. Um, so know that you don't have to do exactly what we're doing. Um, there are women who, oh, and also know, so we are a partnership. So if we do 12000 in sales, that means that we're bringing home 6000 That means that each one of us is cutting a $3,000 check. So if you're not a partnership, you only need to do 6,000 in sales for that month and you still bring home $3,000 in for yourself, a profit of 3,000, if that makes sense. Um, so to kind of explain that, but there is a hundred percent markup on the clothing. Um, and so that kind of is where your profit comes in um, for the most part. Not, they're different and we again if that is if you're considering moving forward we will share those information those um the numbers with you but um and that is why you're able to make what you're able to make and the nice thing so the nice thing with lula row i feel like i'm jumping around because there's so much i want to share with you but i'm trying to do it in a short amount of time but um the nice thing with lula row is they have a policy you have to advertise map pricing so we have to advertise 25 dollars for leggings $35 for a Randy, $55 for a Carly, $65 for a million. We cannot go below that on social media. And I like that because then that holds me accountable. I can't be discounting it for everybody. Um, I, and it also allows to make sure I am bringing home an income, um, you know. And so when people ask, you can just say, we're not allowed to. We're not allowed to discount on social media. And that kind of nips that in the butt. You know, it's our policy and procedure. So you can kind of throw that on LuLaRoe, um, especially if you have like a lot of family and friends who are wanting a discount. Sorry, we're not allowed to, you know. Now, in-home, you can do a discount at in-home, and that's something you get to choose what you want. Um, but it's just on social media. And the reasons for that is they are not wanting um, the, they don't want the clothing to get um, the value of the clothing or to devalue the clothing. Because obviously, and we had this happen with somebody, they, they 
they mark down the sh uh, shirt and the next thing you know is they're expecting that markdown to be for everybody and that kind of devalues the clothes and these are nice clothes they're comfy they're made from good material so they're worth every penny um and when somebody does a sell like that on social media it it kind of affects everybody as far as who sells uh, when it, whoever's selling lula row does that make sense okay sorry it's hard for me to just talk and talk and talk with you know like conversation yeah i'm like uh, <laughs> but um so yeah that is one thing to keep in mind with the policies and procedures so what is selling like so obviously you all are probably familiar you've got your in-home um you can do in-home pop-ups where you go to somebody's house and set up or you set up in your own home and have them post from your home you can do open houses from your home and and we strongly suggest well, let me tell you everything and then I'll tell you my suggestions. Um, you can do online sales, online Facebook um, live sales, Periscope. If you've not heard of Periscope, it is what existed before Facebook Live. Uh, and that's Paige and I used to do Periscope and, and there is a lot of consultants who sell on Periscope and do really well. Um, but we felt like those people who did well already had the following and we got more of a following on Facebook Live. So we stopped doing Periscope, but you might be able to pick up Periscope just fine and do great on it. Um, but it is an avenue for selling just like Facebook Live, but um, let's see, what else? You can do vendor events. Um, you can sell at businesses, but it has to be after business hours. So, and the, the reason for that is that they want to keep it, um, a pop-up like sell versus if you do it during business hours it's going to be like it you're setting up you're not you're you're basically getting any clientele and by a coincidence it's not them coming out to shop for the road does that make sense um let's see you can do i'm trying to think of other sales what about the ones um i was telling Jeannie the other day at like the tanger outlets in meb and there was like 20 that went together Okay, so that is a gray area, um, and that is a gray area. So the reason why is because, so policies and procedures, you are not supposed to set up in a storefront. You're not supposed to set up the same times and hours. So if you follow us on our Facebook group, when we do shop, shopping hours, that's another thing that you can do is shopping hours where people can come to your house, but we cannot advertise the same shopping hours every day because that's like a storefront. That's like somebody coming and you're open during these hours and that's, so you have to change the hours up. Um, and that's where I, it's a gray area for that because that is a storefront. And so what happened was Paige and I did one down at Burlington Mall, the Burlington Mall. And right after doing that one on the, the I'm trying to remember all the details, on the um, training call, when you become a consultant retailer, when you become a retailer, <laughs> um, you, um, they'll have training calls every Tuesday that you'll be a part of. And that's home office. They're giving you updates and things like that. And so that's another thing. They're constantly trying to keep you in the loop. And then also on Tuesday, they have trainings and they might be like an in-home training, a pop-up training, fundraiser training, whatever they feel like the need of the hour is type of training. And so that you can be a part of, there's a ton of avenues to keep you growing and um, learning in this business. But so it was in that training call that Mark, the owner of the company, he made it very, I felt like very clear that those were against what he wanted and that he was going to be shutting them down. I felt like he was very clear in that, but apparently we, so we signed up to continue to sell at that Mevin at the, I mean, the Burlington malls. But then after that meeting, we immediately messaged them and said, Hey, we want out. We don't, we feel like this is against policies and procedures. And she replied back saying that it wasn't, um, that they got approval. And I said, I don't know how you got approval. Cause it sounded like exactly what he was saying. So I, I personally am not taking the chance of my business to do it. Um, I, I felt like he made it very clear that those are against policies and procedures. However, a lot of people are still doing them and, finding some justification somehow.
So I, I, that's why I say it's a gray area. I would say no, but, um, but let me just tell you about our experience with it. So this might even devalue why you would want to do it anyways. We were there from eight in the morning, right? Eight in the morning to six at night. And the sale was from 10 to six. So we, yeah, we had to get there early for setup. Yeah. I don't know why we got to break down, but anyways, we were there all day and we did maybe a total of $500 in sales. Let me tell you, and for some people are gonna be like, oh, that's a lot. But we can, we do two hour in-home pop-ups and we ha we do the same amount of sales. So it's not a lot. And the other experience that we had with it, now we also came from a background where from July, and we didn't do this until November. So July, all the way to November, we did nothing but in-home pop-ups. And these are women who had never heard of LuLaRoe, who we're getting to like help them learn about LuLaRoe, try on different styles, you know, put outfits together. And that is what we loved about it. Um, I'm sorry, hold on one second. My husband's calling me. Why are you doing something? Okay. I don't know if she's gonna. Okay. So I can start, or I can start where she ended. Um, so yeah, we were doing in-home pop-ups and like Stevie was saying, we would get to interact with the women and it would be a fun time and it's a two hour pop-up. Well, at the multi-consultant cell that we did, that was like all day long. Um, our experience was people looked at us like just like um, a shop and when they would walk into our space, um, they like didn't want to talk. Like every time we said hi to someone or can I help you, we noticed that like they would walk away and go to the next consultant. So Stevie's like, okay, I'm going to try not say anything. And it probably just depends on the person, but um, we just felt like there was no relationship happening that people were just trying to find a specific thing that they wanted and they were moving on to the next consultant. And we didn't really build any clientele or we didn't build any relationships. And it just felt like, I don't know. It, 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 it wasn't fun for us. Um, so I know some people, that's what they do all the time because maybe they don't enjoy person like building those personal relationships and they rather have that type of interaction with someone. But for Stevie and I, we didn't, we didn't really like that part of the multi-consultant. So yeah. It, it, and, and they were there, they were hunting down for a specific pattern. And, um, and so that's what they were there for. I've got to go get my son, but I did want to chime in real quick. So you can continue, Paige. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I, I guess that kind of finishes that conversation. Um, I don't know what else. Um, did y'all have any questions about what it's like to sell? Or Nadine and Clark, did y'all have anything to add about what it's like to sell for y'all in the first couple of weeks? Well, um, Mike and Casey have been to both of our pop-ups. And I don't know, did y'all join the live last night? I don't remember seeing y'all pop up on. I popped on, but I mean, it wasn't working, and so I popped back off. And then oh, okay. by the time I went back on, you were done. Oh, sorry. Well, they yeah, I know it was an hour long, but. it they Yeah, they're a little, they take time. But like I said, I had a max of 10 people, and I sold four pieces. So I didn't think that was too bad for an after, you know, an evening of not really planning on doing anything else. But, um, well, Mike and Casey have been to both pop-ups. Mm -hmm. And so they kind of got to see how some of the people are. They, well, Casey went from being someone who wouldn't wear any of it, um, except the black leggings, <laughs> to, you know, really, I think, really liking the product. And then we watched our sister-in-law, um, who isn't, confident at all in what she wears or just I would say in general I love her to death but she's just not very confident in herself to her just putting an outfit on and y'all seen how different Sarah was after almost definitely yeah. yeah definitely different so they've seen the new group of people coming in seeing this stuff for the first time and really loving it and falling in love with it and then they've also seen the other Lula row ones where they're just there for a certain thing, but 
when they find it, they're going to buy it and they're going to buy it all. Mm, this is true. <laughs> I mean, I, I've been watching this over the past couple of weeks since Deanie has done her launch following her, me and Casey have followed her on Facebook. And like she said, um, checked out the, the two pop-ups, the one at her place, the one here at ours. Um, and uh, Stevie and Paige, you guys were talking about your experience of, of it being, you know, at a storefront where you actually went to an actual business. And, and I can agree based off what I've seen with this product and how people react to this product is that, is that it's more of a, it's more of a personal thing. And, and I've seen, I've seen a lot of these women come through and, and, you know, they're kind of humdrum to come in, but man, they're beaming on the way out the door. So I think a storefront uh, desensitizes it and def defeats the power of the line from, from what I'm seeing. So more of a, a home atmosphere, pop-up atmosphere, do the online stuff where people are nice and comfortable. And this product, I'm, from what I'm seeing, is, it will virtually sell itself. Um, you just take it to them, be there with them, be excited about the, the product. I mean, it, it seems like... That is exactly it. And like you, and, and clearly Nadine's wrong about one because she was like, when we talked to her, she grasped the con the culture and concept of Lula Row from the get go. And that's exactly it. I mean, it is the in home, it is the relationship. And that's what you're going to hear from Dan, um, Dan and um, Mark is they want you in the in homes. Um, they want you you know, getting to know the women. And, and that's because that's how she started the business. And that's what she did. And, um, and they will constantly encourage that and encourage you to book pop ups and things like that. Um, and building relationships. That's a huge thing for this company. So and, and they and again, they say it's, it's simple, you buy it wholesale, you sell it retail. And that it's, it's that easy. Um, that's right. You tell Sorry, y'all. No, you're good. He got closed in the toilet. <laughs> yep. um, but, but yeah, so as far as like, I know another big question a lot of people ask is how much time do we put into it? It depends on what you want your sales to be for that month. And that's the great thing about this being your own business is that you can do as much as you want. If you want to sell 12,000 to cruise qualify, and let me explain that because I keep saying it over and over. 12,000 is the minimum to cruise qualify and cruise qualify is you basically get a cruise for free, but it, you have to hit 12,000 for six months consecutively. Um, and if you do, if you do, I think that's, I think it's 14 then, or 15, then 18. Yeah, 12,000, 15. And then if you do 12,000, you kind of get the worst room on the boat. If you do 15,000, you get the second. And then 18,000 is like the balcony. But I'm like, it's a free trip, you know. And it's seven days. And Paige and I, we they just had it in February. The next one is in April. We qualified, but I had a baby, so I wasn't able to go. And, um, so yeah, and that you can't take a newborn; they have to be six months old to go on a on the cruise. So we weren't able to go, but um, it, it and we've heard it's phenomenal. I mean, it's seven days. They have some trainings. I mean, you're learning so much from other women. I mean, it's just everybody there is Lularoe, and you're le get to learn from them. Um, so I'm excited. Our plan is to cruise qualify this year, and if you double cruise qualify back to back, then. We both will get to go for free and we take our, our husbands for free. And that's our plan. And I, I said to nobody can be pregnant next February um, or having a baby. So, But if you're not a partnership, then you got to take your husband with you. But if you're a partnership, you have to double qualify for four people to go. Mm. Oh, man. Okay. Um, <laughs> No, uh -uh. but yeah, so you, but you, so as far as how much time you're going to put into it, it really depends on how much you're wanting to sell. Um, and that's the awesome thing. So at that, ben, at that mall that we sold at, there was a woman there who sold, and this was like 
counterculture for us because here we are, we sell every day. We do the in homes where she just does those types of things and she does them like once or twice a month. And that is all the selling that she does. So she had like a thousand black pairs of leggings and I bought a pair from her because I was like, dang, you got a bunch. And then I realized because she doesn't sell as much. I mean, she sells two or three times a month and it's basically just something fun for her and to have a little bit of an income on the side. Um, so again, that only takes up two or three Saturdays out of her month. Um, or if you're wanting to, you know, sell a bunch, then you might be doing a sell a day. And they have now created um, ways to make it more efficient for you. So there's things like Swift Order, which is what we currently have. And it is an uploading app that like you can put all your inventory onto it and it uploads it to Facebook for you. So you're not having to sit there and upload all these pictures. It used to take us, you know, 30 minutes to an hour to do. Now we just hit upload to Facebook and it does it. And I can walk away and go cook dinner. And this is like huge for us and our family because I would sit there and do it while I'm trying to cook dinner. Um, so there's, they've made things to where you can be more efficient and still do a sell a day if that's something you're interested in. It does, I will say in the beginning, it does take some getting used to. So it, you might be spending a lot of time in the beginning, but after you get all of your resources together, uh, you get a system down, it's, it gets a lot faster. Um, and things like post simplify. And these are things that we will share with y'all that we have, and that is you can post to, it. Ought, we page created like all these posts that we wanna post to events. Um, so when somebody signs up for a pop-up with us, we create the pop-up event on Facebook. She adds it to post simplify. And then every so often, a couple to every couple days, it's posting to that. We're not having to post anymore. And that used to be something we got up every morning, got on all these events. And like, again, we're somebody who has you know, three to four events a week. So then that's like 15 events for one month that you're looking at. And we're sitting there going through all these events and posting to all of them. Now we don't have to do that. Post Simplify does it. And we can go on and add when we want to add. Um, special. So there's ways now to make it more efficient. Um, but like you said, this stuff sells itself. I mean, and, and people get, you know, sometimes some consultants will get frustrated when they get duplicates. We had eight of the exact same Nicole's, our very first inventory, and they all sold in the same size. So that just tells you, like, st the stuff sells. Um, you are wanting to constantly get it in front of some fresh eyes, though. Like, we still have some. We have a, some pieces that are from our initial inventory, and Paige and I are working on that right now, mm -hmm. trying to get it in front of some fresh eyes. Like, because obviously somebody who's been shopping with us, they're not going to buy that. They've seen it every week but if it's somebody new they're gonna be like "Ooh, i didn't i like that you know um but everything does sell i mean somebody just sold a fourth of july julia the other day um and she was like it all still sells it doesn't matter the season or the style <laughs> um, i had a lady last night asking me for fourth of july leggings or statue of liberty leggings i was like no, those aren't going to be new in my inventory. <laughs> right. But it all, that's what I'm saying. Like, and you'll get, and I'm thankful for the different styles, but there are some things that will come in. And when I take pictures of it, I'm like, oh my gosh. And then it ends up being a unicorn. And I'm like, well, dang, I wish we had eight of those. You know, like I had no clue that that was going to be so popular. <laughs> um, but it, it, it all sells. I'm telling you every bit of it. Um, we'll get you in a pair of those unicorns. <laughs> what is? What's that unicorn? She's talking about the weird ones. You're not getting me a pair of weird ones. Oh yeah, that's what no. I'm talking about. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, and purple leggings, and we're pretty excited about that. Like really, really dark, almost black. It's hey. got some contrast. It's got patterns on it, guys. Baby steps. Come on. I know. We're really happy Working about. It. <laughs> but that's what I was gonna say. So in the beginning. All of our clientele was very new to LuLaRoe, like never heard of it. And I'll never forget, we had our first pop-up with our sponsor at my house. And this is where we invite all of our friends and family. And that's where we booked future pop-ups from it. But it was there that my sister-in-law was like, uh, I cannot do those pattern leggings. My mom said it. Everybody said it. 
But what happens is that they get the solid leggings and then they get like, you know, they get on the, the bandwagon with Lula Row and they're like, oh, the patterns are actually pretty cool. And now my sister-in-law and mom, all of them, my family and friends wear all the pattern leggings and they are asking for the crazy pattern leggings at this point. And so, and that's what happens with the clientele is they're going to start off with something they're comfortable with. They're going to realize how comfortable and great the clothes are. And then they're going to branch out. They're going to be like, okay, I've had enough of the solid leggings. I want to try some pattern ones. And then they'll start with like some subtle pattern. And then the next thing you know, they're getting some funky pattern leggings. Um, and it, it happens. We see it happen with everybody. So, um, but yeah, so it, it all will sell. Let's see. I kind of talked a little bit. Any questions about what selling is like? Because the next two categories is what our team has to offer you if you end up signing up under our team and then um, growth opportunities with the business. My son came back in here to play in the toolbox. So you're going to hear him. Sorry. John, let's go. Did the grocery trip go well? And that's why he called me. Sorry. That's why he called me because Luke did fine until the very end. He was like, he just won't stop crying. You got to come get him. So, all right. That's uh, why I'm going to go out of the car and get him. Oh, uh, okay. But um, any questions about what selling is like? No? Okay. As far as our team, I kind of talked about our upline and how great it is. The women on our team, and I'm dead serious. We have heard of other teams not being encouraging, um, not offering trainings and things like that. And our team does that. Um, some, and this is like, when I say our team, I'm talking about our upline. Um, but something that's specific that Paige and I do for our team is we um, do training calls once a month. Um, and we do it at the end of the month and their zoom meetings and we have specific things that we cover um, we also have resources like hostess packets um, all the little posts that you'll do to Facebook events um, videos like tutorials on how to put things into the new system and things like that uh, shipping videos I'll never forget that was like the most stressful was when we went, we did an online sale and then we had to ship out and we were like, oh my gosh, how do we do this? Um, and so we created videos for that. So you're not like stressed about how to do a shipping, how to ship out and what that process looks like. Um, let's see, our team. Uh, we have, let's see. If you're local, like we do, we're, we, we currently do an online sale multi-consultant sale with our team and we do it a little different if you've joined any other multi-consultant team um, sales it's like on a whole random group page and we thought well that is no good because then nobody's joining those people's groups so what we are doing is once a month a different person on our team is going is hosting all the other consultants to sell on their page so in order for people to shop they have to join their page and we're hoping that after they join their page if they sit there and they, they're going to see on their newsfeed oh yeah Nadine's selling again this week let me let me see what she's got even though they're not like a loyal consultant or loyal clientele of Nadine's you know they might occasionally shop from her um, and that was our goal is to hopefully help each other gain some clientele um, and then something that we're going to try to do for people that are local to us uh, is like do a big a couple like times a year do a vendor event with all of us and we set up somewhere central and people can come and shop very similar to the mall thing but it's obviously going to be random and not not every Saturday like they do at the mall so let's and obviously it'll be like our clientele coming to support us, you know, and, and if they share with other people, but then they'll get to see other people's inventory in person. Did you say random locations on that or I'm sorry, I missed that. Yeah, we haven't found a place like, but I, so places that I've looked into, I, I was hoping the farmer's market would let us do it because I know other consultants do farmer's markets, but the one here in Greensboro, and I'm going to try them again this year. I tried them last year. They, they said it had to be homemade, but I don't understand how some other farmer's markets allow it. 
I don't know why, but I know that was a huge thing. That's another thing. Let me share that with you. So when you sell at a vendor event, it has to be quality vendor event. And what I mean by that, and this was a big conversation we had to have at one point, is they, there's a difference between a flea market and a farmer's market. And they would want you to sell at a farmer's market, not at a flea market. Um, just because of selling with the other things, it kind of can cause the value to devalue the product. Um, and that's something else is like for you to know and again this is all in the policies and procedures but that is something else for you to know is you cannot sell with other things so we've had people reach out to us that sell jamboree or sell certain other direct sales and they want to try to sell it with us it is against policy and procedures to sell with another company um, another company or another item and that's because they don't want it to bring down the value of the clothes. Okay. And to kind of, kind of just, so that's a reason from the company, but even like thinking of a retailer is you don't want that competition. Like, you know, somebody's coming to buy clothes and then Jamboree stuff's there, then they're going to be taking some money from you that they could be buying on clothes, you know? So you're talking about conflict of interest within the uh, clothing industry, Correct. but anything other than that, you're fine. Hypothetical, if you're doing a pop-up sale at your house and you also have some furniture items, that's not a conflict of interest. That you're selling like your furniture, furniture items? No, like a furniture vendor, you're finding them like at a... At a well, I'm end. just saying, saying like, like okay, you, you set up in your space and then you have a few pieces of also furniture, maybe to display the clothes, but they're for sale also. Mm. That's a... Mm. It's it's not conflicting with clothing. But Jamboree is nail polish. So oh, it is. I didn't know that. I didn't sorry. Know that. I didn't. All right. Um, so it's it's technically with anything else. Okay. Advertised or non advertised, correct? Advertised. So again, yeah, you could def you can I mean, if it's not advertised, you can have something in your home, but Sounds like a gray area, which I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I kind of want to like look at the wording of the policies and procedures to make sure. I'm I looked at it because Nadine said he was doing the jewelry stuff, and it specifically says anything that's um, like fashion related. I think was, I think the word was fashion related. So it was like nothing, no jewelry, no makeup. Um, the furniture would be okay. Unless you're going to wear it. As long as you don't wear it. I'll make sure I leave the straps off of it. Do you no, have no, no backpack chairs. Like we, I, I refinish furniture. So from time to time, I do have pieces for sale. But That's awesome. Yeah, I don't see that being a conflict of interest. Okay. I just figured you got people coming through. Might as well put a price tag on it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's because we have too much furniture here and you want to get rid of it right on load yeah that what about the farmer's market in reedsville yeah the market square that's a good place for us to look into yeah was it like 20 spaces i think and then it's got a big open grassy area yeah and there's yeah. bathroom and you got the chinka pen farmer's market too so there's some places out this way too yeah so that's a good and that's a good place for y'all to look into just to do you know, every other Saturday or something like that. I don't think, and now I'll have to double check with Kendra and stuff, but I don't think you could do the farmer's market every Saturday. Now, it could be like you do it one Saturday, Kim does it another Saturday, and if, they're, if they sign up, they y'all do it another Saturday. And so, like, there's always a little road consultant there, but it's a different one at, every Saturday. Um, and they're all on our team. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah i would definitely look into that because i was wanting to do the farmer's market here and and stuff like that like with vendor events to kind of keep you might not do a ton of sales but you might be able to pass your card out to a bunch of people and then they shop with you later we've had that it happen a lot um and that stuff that we will share with y'all is different ways to like get your name out there that we do um 
So, and then growth opportunities within the business. I kind of went over that earlier, but obviously it starts off as you're, you're a retailer and then you become a sponsor. When you become a sponsor, the way that works currently now, and I'm saying currently cause they are, they are going to be changing it in the future. Don't know when in the future, but um, currently you get 5% of the orders that they place. And again, that comes from Lula Rose. So every time that Nadine places an order, we get 5%. Am I right on 5%? Why does that not sound right? Um, no, that's right. And then if, and then it's 3% if it's, yeah. If it's below that. Okay. So every time that Nadine places an order, we get 5% from LuLaRoe. So it's not out of Nadine's pocket. Now, if y'all sign up under Nadine, every time y'all place an order, we will get 3% or 3% of it. Nadine will get 5% of it. Okay. Okay. From so the bill is, is to not only not only sell yourself, but to build your team. Correct. Um, the yeah. reason why they do that is because they're not doing a training. They're not going to be training like they didn't. They didn't train Nadine. Now they have training calls that Nadine could be a part of, but it's not specific trainings that she's like needs help with. We are doing that, and so that's. I feel like that that's Lula Rose way of saying we're going to pay you to train the dean so that we're not, she's not calling us a thousand times for questions, you know? Um, and I think that's their way of doing that. Now they will be moving it. Now it's on orders place right now. And this is what they are eventually moving it to is sales. So however much Nadine sells for that month, we will get a certain percentage of and so forth. And that's being a sponsor. And then as you, and that's for everybody you sponsor. And that's where the bonus checks come in. And then you move up from sponsor after you have 10, 10 people under you. It can be direct or it can be people under under you. Like if y'all sign up under Nadine, then it would be like y'all would be, if it was just us, it would be us, Nadine, then y'all, then y'all would be two people under us. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I got you. So 10 people under you and you have to order a certain amount and we can send you the the, um, we have a PowerPoint on all this, like slides, um, but you have to order a certain amount each month. Everybody on your team um, has to order a certain amount for that month and you get considered trainer. Um, and trainer, you get a bonus check, obviously, for the sales, that, I mean, the orders that these people place, but you also get a point, one point into the profits of LuLaRoe for that month. So for that month, being a trainer, and I think we're hoping it comes up on this bonus check that we get this month because we just got qualified for trainer this month technically um, because of people placing orders. Um, but we get one point out of LuLaRoe's profits for that month. That's fun. Sure. Yeah. Sorry, my son is like wanting to be in here. So, um, but, but yeah, so, and that one point comes out of their profits for that month. And then obviously as you move up and you become a coach or become a mentor, you're, you get more points within the system, within the, from Lula Rose profits. Um, but that's the growth opportunities. And they have things like, so when you become a trainer, they have training the trainers, um, meetings where you can go out to California and be a part of it. They have convention, which is something that I'm really praying about going, but it's at the end of July. It's, um, it's a huge, it's, it's convention. It's a huge thing that they have talks there. I think that's where they're going to be launching. They're coming out with new styles and they'll be launching them then. That's how they did it last year. They launched them then. Um, and then they have what's called, they call them Super Saturdays now. It used to be Inspired Tour, which I think they'll be starting that up, but Super Saturdays, which you just find the location near you, and it's a train that you can go to. Um, so, yeah, they've got trainings available all the time um, to go to, and those trainings are basically, I feel like, inspirational, and you walk away, you learn more about the business, you learn more about how to sell, um, and the 72 hour game plan. So any, uh, anything you want to add Paige and then we can open up for questions, I guess. Um, I guess the only thing with like the growth opportunities is some people 
go into it, you know, hoping to train other people. Um, that's what they enjoy. Like Stevie was a teacher prior to this. This is like her favorite part of the job is helping other people. Um, but then there's other people out there who they don't have time to train other people. They can, they only have time to sell their stuff because it is, a, it is another responsibility on top of selling is to help someone else and kind of be on call, you know, 24 hours to help answer questions. So it's not something you have to do to be successful with LuLaRoe, but it's something that they offer if you would enjoy training someone. I guess that's another thing I would add. But that was all that we had on our list to talk about tonight. But any other questions or anything? Um, I did have some tax questions, actually. Um, oh, yeah. Do you guys um, record your profits? Do you pay your taxes um, quarterly? Sales tax? Glad you asked that. That is something that we are learning and we are currently in the process of. So what our CPA has suggested is, if you can take it, it would be better. But what our CPA has suggested because of what we make, what we have done in our sales is that she has suggested that we start to pay quarterly. Because you have a certain dollar amount. Our sales are so high. But, um, Obviously, it depends on your sale and what your CPA. Now, and the CPA that we use is she's actually a LuLaRoe consultant herself. And we did, and we'll do it again. We did a. Um, yeah, show. look at his hair. Oh, uh, ain't it crazy? <laughs> He's got them both beat. <laughs> it is like an inch off his head. It is crazy. But his name um, is Luke. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but he, or, but she, she sells a little and we did a training with her in our, with our team and we'll do it again to kind of help answer questions. Um, I'm pretty sure she'd be willing to do it again, but yeah, we are starting this year to do pay quarterly. Right. Cause at the end of the year, I would imagine that that type of volume, you got hit with a pretty hefty bill. Yeah. But we, yeah, and that's something we will share with y'all. So what we do is every month is we have a system, a percentage system that we sit aside. So we we started off, now we learned the hard way, but we started off paying 50% towards debt, 45% toward, no, 40% towards replenishing, 10% towards tax, and 10% towards like things like stamps.com and stuff that you had to pay for. Um, now we, oh wait, I was 110. I figured you meant 40, 40, 10 and 10. Yes, thank you. And sorry, I'm getting distracted between these two boys. Um, so, but we learned the hard way and, I, and this is where we would suggest with you all, if you start selling is don't pay that much towards debt. Because, and yeah, we paid off our debt fast and it was great. And then we started getting a paycheck fast, but our inventory suffered. And so that's why this, this past January, our paycheck was really low because we placed a whole nother $5,000 order because our inventory got low and we wanted our inventory to a certain number. And, and that's because we weren't putting enough money back towards inventory. We were paying towards debt. Um, so don't use those percentages, but that's the percentages that we used. And, and now we use those percentages and they work out fine for us now because we're not trying to grow inventory. We're maintaining inventory. Um, but yeah. And so we always set aside 10% for tax. And so we do fine. Like we actually were able, we're sh according to what our CPA just told us last week, I think we're going to be able to pay off our t business tax with our, what we've set aside. Okay. So, but yeah, and that is something with you being your business owner, you get to choose like how much you want to put in. So a lot of women and that start selling, like what they end up doing is they invest a hundred percent back into the business for months before they even take a paycheck. And, and that just helps with the longevity of their business because you know, then their, their, their inventory is maintaining, they're keeping up with fresh styles um, fresh patterns and things like that. 
there you want to you want to go deep in your inventory you want to have about 10 pieces of every size um now you'll learn like extra extra small randies and extra extra small amelias and extra extra small nicoles don't sell except for really petite ladies or like middle schoolers um so you might not want to carry 10 in those sizes but you'll learn those things um but you want to try to carry at least 10 in every size um that way when somebody comes and shops and we saw this just happen we, we did a fundraiser the other night <laughs> with somebody on our team and she didn't have the inventory that we had and so we sold a ton and she didn't sell as much um and so and and, and, and that's just evident like if you the more inventory you have, then the more pieces you have to offer somebody, the more I, they are able to create an outfit from it or find something they like. If you just have three, oh, it's okay. Um, if you just have three, you know, Randy's and an extra small, and they're going to be like, oh, I don't like those three. And then they're going to go find another consultant. And that's where you got to really keep, you know, your inventory up so that doesn't happen. Okay. Do you have any questions, guys? Uh -uh. Don't y'all miss this bobbly head stage? <laughs> <laughs> I like it, but I like to give it back too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could just say, go to bed. Right yeah, that's what we just did. As we said, we're on a webinar out. Go to bed. <laughs> I saw it after something. I was like, that's so nice. <laughs> 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 I told Clark I missed that stage, but I don't want to deal with any of that stuff. Dealing with the, the terrible twos is enough. Okay. It was like Mike and I went to the grocery store last Friday night, and it was just me and him because the boys were gone. And we pulled up in the driveway, and I was like, Who's going to unload it? Dang, I was like, The boys aren't home. Why do we go to the grocery store? Because now we don't have anybody. We have to unload it ourselves. It's all day. day. <laughs> it's terrible. I don't think I heard you, Paige. Oh, how old are they? 12 and 13. Oh. They'll be 13 and 14 this year. <laughs> Look, there's another one. Oh, jeez. All over the place. Yeah. <laughs> and our kids are night owls. Well, Paige's is especially. Mine tends to go down between 8 and 9, but sometimes struggles if I'm not back there with him. But her right. son will stay up till 12. I was going to say, it looks like I haven't seen the little one, Paige's little one, until just now. Yeah. yeah. This one of my babies. I was going to say, Deanie, you got your, your baby cat in there. My Morta cat. Morta cat. Um, any other questions? <laughs> no, I think that pretty much covers the rest. Do you guys use the, the system uh, as far as credit card processing through LuLaRoe? I'm glad you uh, – that's a big point. So I'm glad you said that. The nice thing with LuLaRoe is they take care of sales tax and all of that. So yes, use okay. their system. And if you're wanting to qualify for anything, you have to use their system. Um, if you use Square or anything like that and then put it in as a cash sale, then you won't qualify for stuff. Because um, they, you know, anybody can put in that they sold $1,000 in cash sales on there um, and they really didn't, you know. So that's where they want to see that it actually inventory is moving. But yes, and this new system that they're coming out with, they are kind of provide swipers so you can just attach it to your phone and you swipe their cards which is really nice um there is a processing fee but i, I think it's very comparable to how much it is for um, other places uh, like square and things like that i think we looked into that and it's very similar so it's like, it like a flat is it a flat rate processing fee is it a percentage Percentage. Percentage. Okay, so probably somewhere around like a 1.25 percent. It's three and a half keyed. It's 2.8 for swipe. Okay. Thanks, Clark. I knew you knew because you wrote that somewhere, and I was like, I hope you remember. Two point eight <laughs> for swipe. Okay. Two point eight. will be here tomorrow. It takes a while for to get the swiper. Will it really? Oh, thank you, Jesus. I think yeah. ours is coming tomorrow too, which is so crazy. I don't know why it took so long. Ours. Wait, what was it? The swiper. Oh, <clears throat> we got our card like that and no problem, but whoa, um, but yeah, those, all the pop-ups and everything we've been doing, we've been, you know, you've seen us like having the hand key everything in, 
Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that was. And then, is there any initial cost on the software for the uh, credit card? No. Machine? None of that. Okay. That they, so this new point, and now this is like brand new. Like we're switching for March. Paige and I, we haven't even switched yet. Nadine and Clark are ahead of us. They've switched, but they haven't gotten the swiper and all that. So the swiper is new. The the car. Um, so this is another nice feature now. It's nice to us who have been selling, but y'all are probably gonna be like, oh, you know, cause it's not a new feature to you. But so when you end a pop-up, it used to be that we had to wait till like the money. So when somebody buys online, or yeah, buys online or uses their credit card, they, it goes through LuLaRoe. So LuLaRoe does the tax for it, the sales tax. They take care of all that, so you don't have to worry about it. And it takes out the processing fee. Then they deposit money back into your checking, but it's like a couple days later. Well, the nice thing is, is you, they're now are sending, they send out debit cards, LuLaRoe debit cards, and at the end of the pop-up, you can say, pay now. Pay now. And if you had a thousand dollar sales then, and it was all credit card sales, then you can get paid that thousand dollars right then, and it goes straight to your LuLaRoe debit card. You're not having to wait. Now there is a dollar. It is a dollar transfer fee to transfer it to your personal credit card um, or, che or checking account. So, but that's it. That's the only time that there's a. And, or you can just buy off of that debit card. You don't have to transfer, but some people, you know, want it to go to their personals. Right. Right. I get it. That makes sense. Okay. And that's the nice thing about that. I mean, that means that they are up fronting that money, obviously, because, you know, a credit card doesn't process that fast. So LuLaRoe is up fronting all of that money for every consultant, which is crazy. Well, that means business is good. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's all I really had was those few questions on the tax stuff. Case, did you have any? No. Now, and we can now we will help you think through some of the tax things. You might know be way better off in tax area than we are. The things that we've learned is like with taxes concerned, you're going to want to make sure you make all of your purchases on. Um, a separate account like a business mm -hmm. you know just so you can write it off oh, it's okay it's been a while i've done this before but it's been a while as far as the business and the taxes and so it just i just had a couple questions on on how you guys were doing it and we could probably figure out the rest yeah and and yeah and again i would speak with a cpa and we can help you with whatever we know but we're learning Okay. That sounds good. Well, I'm good. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. It was really nice meeting y'all. And if you have any further questions, please reach out to us. I hate that it was like interrupted with kids. I'm sorry. Well, uh, we're good. We all got kids. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> okay, good. All been there. <laughs> um yeah, and again, check out our channel that she put a link there. Um, there's a ton of videos there. Um, and we can, if, if you want some paperwork to look through, we have a ton of paperwork that we can send y'all. Um, you know, and it, it's paperwork. It, you, you can still put Nadine, obviously, as your sponsor. So, um, yeah. Hey, it's the same paper that we sent to Dean. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think I want to look that over. Yeah. yeah. Dean, did you say you posted that? Um, I think I still have it in my email. I just didn't delete that email in case I need it again. So I can forward it to you. Yeah. If, yeah. If you don't mind, go ahead and do that, Dean. We'll just look through the paperwork, stuff like that. Yeah. And that is, I'm trying to think if there's anything that's on there that has changed. I don't think so. I think the only new thing right now is a new point of sale system. I don't think like signing up or any of that has changed right now. Well, once you sign up to, they'll email you like a DocuSign that has like all of the contract stuff that you'll want to read over. Um, they'll send that to you like after the fact. And then that's like the final, like you sign that and then you're officially in the queue. So you'll get like that to read over as well. I'm glad you said that, Paige. Look over that because 
we had somebody, so we had a girl that we sponsor who had somebody sign up under her. And when they signed up, apparently the link that they used, Nadine, you'll want to make sure, go to your build and send them that link if they choose to sign up. It's like to join your yeah. team link. Yeah. Um, but the, so the join her team link that she sent them, sent her to a whole nother person and she didn't know it. So she signed the DocuSign, not really looking over everything. And it had her down as Richard. Somebody was her sponsor. And she's like, I don't even know who Richard is and all this stuff. So they had to go through this whole process and they weren't going to change it because they, they don't change sponsors. But then they realized like it was a fluke on their end because the link was wrong. But um, so definitely look over your DocuSign because that is the final piece that if those, those, anything's wrong there, then they need to fix it or you'll have issues. So do you pay, so like say, you said there's several packages. <clears throat> I'm guessing you don't. that in the email. Okay. So I, was wondering, it's, I guess it's after you get accepted, right? Yes. You will not have to pay anything between now and until you get the phone call. It's when you get the phone call that they're going to want your credit card information or however you're planning on paying for the package, the initial package. And that's all you're paying for right then is the initial package. And then you can go over and do your, cause you said it doesn't come with leggings. So you're obviously going to make that order. And your racks. And well, the racks you can, we can check out. You said you got a link and stuff like that. And Deanie had some nifty racks. Are they the same ones? Yeah, they're the same ones they have. Okay. So we, we can get that. that. Deanie, we'll, we'll talk to you a little bit more. Of course, we're going to have another conversation a little more in depth. Um, but yeah, um, I've seen, I seen the racks. I've seen the bags. I've seen the setup. I mean, it's, pretty, it's all pretty user-friendly, you know, pop up and break down within minutes. Um, and you can move a lot of inventory pretty quick. So yeah. I think it's a pretty good system. It was good research on, on your guys' part. Um, you guys put all that together? Yeah. Yeah, that's excellent. It was it was a nice system. And well, as far as well, wait, what system are you talking about? Oh, the, the the racking and where you, you get said, the certain bags you said and where to find it. Oh, yeah. okay. So we did put that packet together that kind of helped figure out where to buy things. But we did research of like what other consultants were using. So we learned about the fracka bags, the blue bags from IKEA from yeah. another other consultants and stuff so we can't take credit for that but we we did the research to figure out if, if it's cheaper to go to ikea versus ordering online and it is cheaper to go to ikea a lot cheaper and i'm really? sure when you buy 30 bags at a time well no but i was going to say but the bad thing about going to ikea is you walk past everything else to get to that yeah gotta go. but we beelined it just to that and then we also got this like <laughs> you yeah, would. I would. It's like I'm a utility myself. thing, that's <laughs> but um, that I have all of our shipping a part of um, or on. Right. Yeah, it's like three tiered. <laughs> Anyways, but I say that to say, yeah. So, and I think Nadine has that packet as well um, of all like the best places to find these things. Um, yeah. Okay. So, and, but we did all the research from other consultants and then made that pass. So I have a question. So what if you sign up under a sponsor and then that so sponsor stops selling eventually? Good question. So what we've been told is that then you would move up to the person above them. So in this situation, if you sign up under Nadine and then she decides to stop selling, then you would become our direct. Okay. And okay. that's kind of how it works. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's again making sure you 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 get along with your upline. If that happens. Um. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I did not think about. This is like my first legit Lularoe work like for real work since Luke's been born. So my brain's a little. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Max. <laughs> so obviously Max agreed. Yeah. 
But any other questions? No, I think I think got out a good good bit of it, and you you explain, <clears throat> you know. And what was sent in the chat? Do we get that afterwards? Say that again. The the stuff that, that Paige sent in the chat will that be sent to us after? Oh, do you not see it right now? Well, we do. Do we have to grab it now? Um, that's a good question. Or when we close this, is that gone? I think when I close this, that's gone for y'all. But I have recorded it this meeting, and I'm I'm assuming that that shows up. The chat shows up in the recording, um, because I know like I like I people whoever's talking shows up. So I'm thinking like what's on my screen right now will show up and that that should show up. But in case it doesn't, if you want to copy and paste it, just, yeah, I just did, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, it's not too hard to find. I just went on YouTube and searched Lula Rose Stevie and Page or Stevie Page. Yeah. I think it is. And they're they're really good videos. I watched theirs and then in our upline Kendra Pratt she has a lot of good videos too I think I, the only difference is she had three days to prepare wait, say she, that again? she had three days didn't she they called oh, her after yeah. three days and yeah she got called fast um and then our direct upline Margie Mercer she's got a lot of good videos too so the way it goes mm -hmm. it's it's Nadine us then Margie Mercer she was actually one of my best friends in college and she sells. Um, she's actually in Winston-Salem. And then above her, Kendra Pratt. And then above Kendra Pratt is Anna Matos. And then it's Anne, Annalise Whiteside. And then it's um, Lisa Trader Jones. So that kind of lets you know. And those, Lisa Trader Jones is a mentor in the company. I think Annalise is too. Anna Matos is a coach, and Lisa, um, Kendra Pratt, did she just recently become a mentor or a coach? Do you remember, Paige? Oh, she's a mentor. Yeah, I think she just became a mentor. Yeah. So that kind of tells you, and she signed up. Now, she, and she like, is phenomenal like she was on youtube a lot like she her personality y'all would love her personality she's very like outgoing funny goofy down to earth but also very much of like a, a business like rule follower too you know but she's not like this like rigid rule follower she's gonna tell you these are the rules and then she's gonna joke with you about them. you know like it's just cool but anyway she like hit the jackpot in the sense since like she joined in December and became like <laughs> within the first year of her selling. Um, and that's cause like when she signed up, she like had a lot of people sign up under her cause she was doing a lot of YouTube and then it just snowballed from that. Um, so yeah, but yeah, check those women out, any of those women and they, they are, the moment you sign up, you turn in your paperwork, we will add you to those groups. And those groups have a ton of resources. And those people are constantly posting on those groups and things like that um, to kind of help you, like, with live trainings, with, um, you know, selling strategies, things that they're learning, questions that they have, things like that. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Well, I'm good. Yeah. You look tired, so. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. It just like immediately wiped you out. I could tell. Yeah, I was sitting here. I was like, I don't know if there's anything else. I'm trying to think. But. No, we can. Add. I mean, we, 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 we got Deanie. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk with them for a bit and everything, and um, you know, see where we go from here. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Yes, it was nice. Bye, Jose. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Thanks for letting us join, y'all. Yes, oh, well, I'm glad nice. you did. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 I always forget what to do. Leave meeting, right?